Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. It's one of the most historic stadiums in the country. Welcome to Chicago. I'm Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth. We've got the Chicago Bears and Carolina Panthers here for you in this exhibition contest. What do you think of the two quarterbacks out there tonight, Chris? You know, this is one of those classic quarterback matchups. On one side, you've got a strong arm guy who has the ability to sit back in the pocket and make sort of very professional deliveries that you think of as a classic NFL quarterback. And on the other side, I think, is where the game is moving a little bit. A more of a scrambling quarterback, a guy that has the ability to get out of the pocket, make some plays, make some people miss, make those defenders cover a little bit longer. So which side do you like? The old style or a bit of the uh, new age quarterback? Well, Chris, great story. We'll see if it pans out in this game. the ground left side he gets knocked out of bounds at the 36 yard line a 10 yard gain second down up the middle and he's tackled at the 39 yard line D'Angelo Williams picked up the first down, gain of four on the play. Let's get this game started off right. Give it to our back on first down. Let him get this drive moving in the right direction. Here's the give. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. All right, this is a five-step drop, which will give your wide receiver time to get to the sideline on his out route. The offensive line is going to have to account for him here. Touchdown, Panthers! The Panthers get on the board first. There's just something about a ball that you know if you catch it, it's six points. And if you don't, you're going to be the go to the game. It just makes you focus a little bit more. Carolina is up seven. Let's take a look at the drive summary, which is presented by Verizon. And he'll return it from way back at the three. Yeah, the other team just scored a touchdown. They have the momentum of the game. And right now as a play caller, I think you have to be very aggressive. Try and recapture that momentum and get this game going back in your direction. Not a whole lot of heat on the quarterback here, but we have our linebackers watching. 
watching the middle of the field. If they try a quick pass, be ready to jump. Forte gets a handoff to the right. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Tons of pressure. He's hit as he throws. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes, and that time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. Defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Guys, we need to do a better job in coverage here. They may want to go to the air again and try for the big play, so don't bite on the play action. He gets off the throw. We'll get our first flag of the game. Totally Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. First down. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. They picked it off. No one will catch him. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was. And even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. John Casey is good on the point after. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. The Bears want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. Avoids a sack by getting it off as he's hit. And there's the Bears player slowly making his way to the sideline to get checked out. Listen up, we got the receiver double covered here. When the quarterback takes that extra second to look for his secondary option, I want our guy. Here's the pass. Jake Cutler was simply trying too hard that time. He got a little excited and let that ball get away from him. That's something that you'll see from inaccurate passers from time to time. Greg Olson was the intended receiver on the play. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. They catch him at the 34-yard line. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Yeah, 
Steve Smith was his intended target. He tries to scramble. Hauls it in. He's brought down at the 40. We've played a quarter. The score is 14 0. in front of you so don't rush it give them time to set up their blocks and when the hole opens up explode through it they hand it off julius peppers was there for the stop six yard gain on the run that'll bring up second down Scrambles away from the rush. The defender tips it away. Charles Tillman with the coverage on the play. All right, a medium curl route to your wide out here. Take your five-step drop, then zip it in there. Scrambles away from defenders. He'll get the help of the trainer, so his day just might be over. Okay, let's go with a halfback dive here. Nothing too fancy. Just follow your blocks up the gut. They'll get the call again. Lance Briggs was there to bring him down. You know you have a pretty special player at the running back position when despite the fact that they're run blitzing him now, he can still get out of there and still come up with a nice game. Shotgun here. Scan the field. If no one's open, try to find a guy in single coverage. Going for the end zone. Steve Smith was the intended receiver. John Fox throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing. There is a challenge on the field. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. John Casey tacks on the extra point. It's fielded at the two. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. All right, guys, listen up. We've accounted for anything down the middle of the field, but there still is room down the sidelines if one of their receivers breaks free. Has a man to his right. Little flip. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Hey, hey, hey. 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 
hammered as he lets it go. The Bears are playing a bit cautiously here in the first half. They're doing some checkdowns and completing some short passes for five yards, but I'm not sure that's going to get it done in the end. Even though we have our safeties deep, there is going to be room if their quarterback can throw it over our linebacker to a receiver in the middle. He completes it. That's a two-yard loss. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. He lets it go. Gamble. Got it! He's dropped down at the 37. The Panthers have two interceptions in the first half of play. Hit the hole hard and fast. Make sure you keep a good, tight grip on that football. Hand off up the middle. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. The Panthers are looking very good passing the ball so far. When you can get 15, 20 yards every time you throw, you know you're going to win the game unless you start turning that thing over. Let's go. Passes to the end zone. Comes down with it. Touchdown. This one's getting out of hand. It's a complete disaster on the field. And he adds the point after. Knox gets it at the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Our line needs to create some penetration here. We can't let their quarterback stand around in the pocket and let someone get open. Has a man short to his left. Beeson picks it off. And the tackle was made by Hester. Carolina now with three interceptions in this game and uh, sort of keeping pace with what they did a season ago when they got 22 to tie for fifth place in the NFL. Chris Gamble, Richard Marshall, each coming up with four interceptions each. But this is a Carolina defense that keeps trying to get this offense going, turning the football over. here on second down. Just find whoever's open and get moving in the right direction. Scrambling away from the rush. King was the intended receiver on the play. Here's a look at today's red zone numbers made possible by Old Spice Body Wash, the greatest smell in the NFL. step drop so let your tight end get down the field and hit him as soon as he cuts inside buying time with his feet he drops the easy pick the defender gets a hand on it and that will bring up fourth down just terrific play by the defense they followed the quarterback's eyes made a quick jump on the ball and were all over that one 
So that will make the score. The Panthers, 31. The Bears, nothing. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. Knox gets it at the two. He makes it to the 22. The Bears have had a long day so far, and if they don't make something happen on this series, well, you're going to see these players getting more and more frustrated. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. All right, guys, listen up. We've accounted for anything down the middle of the field, but there still is room down the sidelines if one of their receivers breaks free. He passes it. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. The Bears have been facing a pretty stiff pass defense so far. You know, they haven't been getting too much on their completions, but that time, a big play, and that's exactly what they needed. to hurry the quarterback here. If he has enough time, someone will break free of their man coverage. It's a pass. He's got room. The stop was made by Beeson. Anytime you blitz, you're going to leave yourself a bit vulnerable in the secondary. Somebody's going to be open or at least have a little extra room to operate. And if the offensive line can pick it up, you're in trouble. The trainers are going to assist him off the field, so not a very good sign there, but hopefully he's okay. All right, we have extra guys coming on the blitz, so let's get around those blocks and stop him for a loss here. Forte on the handoff. The Bears are simply getting stuffed on nearly every rushing attempt. They need to get a spark somehow because this just does not bode well for them. Guys, this is a great time to send the blitz. If they get the pass off, don't let the receiver make it to the sticks. Gets the pass off. Bennett got blasted and just couldn't hang on. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Carolina calls a timeout, and they call their final timeout of the half. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now the Bears, three. The Panthers, 31. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. And he'll return this one from the seven. He takes it back to the 29-yard line. All right, we're going to air it out on this street to your wide receiver. You're in shotgun, so wait for him to get deep and let it soar. He is wanting to go deep with it. Steve Smith was his intended target. Okay, you're in shotgun here, so you can deliver a home run pass on this streak. But don't throw if there's double coverage or if the safety's in the area. Scrambles away from the rush. It's tipped and falls incomplete. No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. He tries to scramble. He gets off the throw. 
The Panthers get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. Here's the throw. Caught and dropped immediately. Taken from the three-yard line. They catch him at the 28-yard line. Okay, if they run a screen pass here, our safeties need to break out of their zones and get to the ball. He rolls out to the right. That was a very good effort by the Panthers. All right, great job getting a sack on first down. You're in his head now. Even if you don't sack him here, try to hurry him and force the bad throw. He's going to pass. Martin picked. He's tackled at the 33. The Panthers have now picked off four passes in this ball game. Just need one stutter step from the D-back because of the play action. Then our wideout could go for six on this streak. Sacked on the play action. Really good work by the Bears. Okay, let's show them we're committed to our ground game. Let's push for a big gain on this halfback dive. Scrambling away from the rush. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Scrambles away from defenders. I really like what they did that time. Nice job by the Bears. Devin Hester is back deep to receive. The Bears suffered an interception on their last possession. All right, guys, let's hope our blitzer can sneak in there behind the pass rush. He needs to chase down their back if they hand it off. On the ground, up the middle. He still can't seem to find any kind of rhythm in his ground game today. Give the defense credit. Passes it downfield. It's picked! Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. Okay, let's hit your tight end on this deep corner route. You're out of the shotgun, so be patient. Let him get a few steps, then bam, throw it in there. Buying time with his feet. And he drops the short pick. I just run the play. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Looks to throw it. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Okay, you're out of the
the shotgun for this streak. Keep an eye on your tight end. If he's deep enough, fling the ball to him. Let him do the rest. 38. 38. He tries to scramble. Gets it away. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle thinking, he stinks, this guy's terrible. Then as soon as he sees his quarterback, he says, don't worry about it, we'll get it next time. Scrambles away from the rush. I understand you like what your offense is doing, but really no reason to put your defense at risk like that. Listen up, we're sending some extra heat at the quarterback on this blitz. So let's hope we force a bad decision and the guys that are dropping back in the zone. The pass is away. And we have a flag on the play. Holding offense. And that will back Retain this one up. Penalties like that sometimes will split a huddle. You'll get half the guys patting you on the back and saying that's okay, and the other half are looking at you like, you idiot. He's wrestled down at the 28-yard line. Looks to be about a nine-yard gain. That brings up second down. Okay, stopping the run on first down will force a team to pass on second and long. They won't surprise us here, so let's take advantage. Hit as he throws. Leonard with the interception. Touchdown, Carolina. You know, some defensive players, you don't want to throw it in their zone because it might get intercepted. Some guys, you absolutely don't want to throw it there because they can turn it into a touchdown going the other way. Here we go, he'll return it from the four yard line. The defense is coming off that big play just a moment ago, so the momentum is on their side. Here comes the heat. That was impressively done by the Panthers. Stop getting a sack on first down. You're in his head now. Even if you don't sack him here, try to hurry him and force the bad throw. He throws downfield. Picked off. Well, I don't know if it's his name or not, but Chris Gamble certainly lives up to his. A guy that likes to take chances, wants to make a play on the football. For him, it, oftentimes, it's all or nothing. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. Yeah, you're taking a five-step drop here, which will get your wide receiver time to get deep. Once he cuts the corner, deliver a strike. Scrambling away from the rush. What can they do to stop the bleeding here, Chris? They have brought him down four times now. I really don't know what you do as an offense at this point because if it's one guy struggling or one guy winning the battle, you can help one side or another. But when your entire offensive line is getting beat on a consistent basis, what do you do? It, left it short. Okay, they're in a run formation, so we're sending a blitz. Make sure our coverage guys are ready in case they pull a play action here. And he makes it out to about the 47. 
guys, we're bringing extra heat to stop the run in the backfield. But if they play fake, we can't let their quarterback get that throw off. He didn't get back to the line. Hayden seems to be a little shaken up on the play. Hey, y'all. We just got to pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. All right. We got him right where we want him. Bring the heat and see if we can bring up fourth and long. Rolls to his right. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all of football playing the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a back or putting a tight end over there. play hit the hole hard and fast and make sure you keep a good tight grip on that football Get ready. hand off to the right side streaks down the sideline and he's gone he's knocked out of bounds at the one take it right up the middle if you hit a wall, jump over the top. See if the blocks get us to the end zone. Gives it off. And it's another touchdown. D'Angelo Williams is one of the top backs in the NFL. He really is. Vision, awareness, acceleration, you name it, this guy's got it. He'll take it from the two. He stopped at the 24-yard line. A sack would be nice, but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. He's going deep with it. The pass is broken up. What a play. You need to make a play, man. Bennett was the intended receiver. All right, all right, here we go. Watch out for the quick pass. They'll be able to find space over the middle. If we can hurry the quarterback, we'll be in good shape. Moves to his right. Breaking through up the gut. Matt Forte with his third reception. we're sending there's no need to rush it look for a hole to open up and then run right through it to the ball forte on the delay yeah you, know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man and that time the defense is big men they won the battle ball back for our offense. If they catch it short, I want 11 men running towards that ball. They get about 10 yards there. And 
and they down it at the three-yard line. When you go for a punt to pin a team deep in their own territory, the last thing you want to have happen is to have it end up in the end zone for a touchback because it just is a letdown for the punt team. Now you've got them backed up inside the 10-yard line. Nice play. All right, we're going to run a halfback dive here. Hold on to the football, follow your blocks, and we'll be golden. It's the tailback. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. A little more time here. It's a five-step drop, then once your wideout gets free after he breaks to the corner, fire it to him. Scrambles away from defenders. Tip pass, and it's incomplete. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. He's tackled at the 18. Not much, maybe two yards on the carry. That brings up third down. Buying time with his feet. Hauls it in. King makes his third catch of the game. All right, let's keep the defense off balance with this counter. We'll get them leading one way, and then we'll go the other. Give to the tailback. He's dropped down at the 36-yard line. Gains nine, second down. All right, let's burst through the line of scrimmage here, but keep a good grip on the football, or the defense might knock it loose. Get ready. They'll give it off here. Brian Erlocker looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Let's go with a halfback dive here. Nothing too fancy. Just follow your blocks up the gut. Another run. He's wrestled down at the 47-yard line. All right, a run to the outside here. Be patient. Follow your blocks. And then turn it on once you get to the edge. They give it off here. He gets tackled and goes down at the 42. Okay, let's run this one between the tackles. If the blocking does what it should, we should be off to the races. Here's the give. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Now is a good time to take a look at the Gatorade top performers. Okay, all we're trying to do is run down the clock. Let's keep it on the ground and keep that clock moving. Hands it to the back. And he's gone! Next stop, Pater! D'Angelo Williams didn't exactly explode on the scene in the NFL, but now that he has become a little more settled in the league, we're starting to see some of the explosive plays that he's known for. Less than two to go in our fourth quarter of play. The score... The Panthers, 52. The Bears, 3. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. He'll take it from the 2. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. A 
sack would be nice, but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. He's going to throw it. He's brought down at the 45. Pretty athletic play for a big guy. I tell you, as a quarterback, you see somebody make a play like that, you want to come back again and again. Knox was the intended receiver on the play. We have extra guys and man coverage to double up the receivers. We aren't going to let their big threats hurt us. Flips it out short to his left. We're double covering one of their receivers, but they have other weapons. Make sure everyone's... Looking for a man. Knox was his intended target. He angles it out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Okay, we have the lead and the ball. Let's hand it to our back and have him run some clock. On the ground, up the middle. Six-yard gain on the run. And that'll bring up second down. Okay, let's run this one between the tackles. If the blocking does what it should, we should be off to the races. Daylight. He gets to about the 41 yard line. All right, we're trying to run some clock here. Hand it off, stay in bounds no matter what. They go with the run. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Okay, blocking is the key on this run. A hole should open up between the tackle and the guard, but if it's not there, bounce it to the outside. They hand it off again. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. That's going to do it from Chicago. We have highlights coming right up, so don't go anywhere. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game, presented by Old Spice Deodorant, the greatest smell in the NFL. Here's one for the highlight reel. It's the Doritos Crunch Time play of the game. Our final in this one is the Panthers, 52, the Bears, 3. This has been a presentation of EA Sports and Madden NFL 11.